Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I was listening to Dave Ramsey's podcast a couple days ago or whatever, and he was talking about how it's been a year since they released the Every Dollar app, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been using that for a year now. Um, so, I thought maybe I would do kind of like an update on the app and what we think about it, if we still use it. We've had, I've had lots of questions about that, so I thought that's what I would kind of do today, kind of like a one year later, what we think of it. I did do a video, a every dollar review video um, last year, so I can link that somewhere on the screen or somewhere down below if y'all want to go watch it and see what we thought about it when it first came out, but today I'm going to kind of just do an update on our thoughts and all that kind of stuff. But before we get started, if you'll scroll down just a little bit and click the subscribe button, you will get notifications for when I post new videos. I post about three times a week, if not more. Um, sometimes two times a week, but most of the time three times a week. So you want to get those notifications. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, Every Dollar came out about a year ago for iPhones. And then he just announced that it is now available for people who have Android phones. So if you have an Android, you can definitely get this app now. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, so just download it and you have it. Um, you can pay a monthly fee. I can't remember how much it is, but you can pay a monthly fee to have them import information from your bank account onto the app, kind of like, I think Mint does that. Um, it imports what you've spent and your income and stuff, and then you drag it to whatever category it's supposed to be in. So you can pay money to have that done. We do not do that. We do not pay that fee. I just can't justify spending money on that when I can just enter it myself. I check my bank account every single morning um, just because I'm a control freak <laughs> and I like to see like what's come out and mark it in my budget binder and I just, I don't know. That's what I do but anyway so we have been using the Every Dollar app for an entire year. We love Every Dollar. We have had no issues in it with it really. Um, the only complaint I have with Every Dollar is that I I really don't like how they have set up the debts and then the emergency funds or just funds um, that are at the top. I don't like how, like when you add, or I mean there might be a way around it, but I just, we have not figured it out yet. Like when we put in, we're going to put $100 into the emergency fund and then like there's no way to go in and say that we actually did it. It just assumes that you did it and it just adds it to the end amount. And I don't like that. I like being able to put in so I can see exactly how much I put in. Um, if there's a way around that, please let me know because it's really frustrating. Um, sorry, my hair is, ugh. Anyways, um, so I didn't care for that and I didn't care for it. I think, pretty sure it did that with our debt too. I can't remember because we're debt free now, but, um, I didn't care for that, but other than that, I really liked it. I liked it that both my husband and I could have it on our phones. I like that you can actually, you don't even need the app on your phone. If you don't have a smartphone or you don't want to add it onto your phone, you don't have to. You actually can just go online onto the website and it's everydollar.com and sign up on there. So that's what I use. I actually don't have every dollar on my phone. My husband has it on his phone. But I don't have it on mine. I get on it um, when I get onto our bank account every morning. I get on every dollar also and I just update it for us. But um, we have just loved every dollar. I We tried keeping up with a budget that was written before every dollar came out. And it was just really difficult, um, especially when we had weird things popped up that we hadn't budgeted for and we had everything written down. We'd have to like squeeze it in and all this kind of stuff. I didn't care for that. So I like that on every dollar. It's just all on there and you can add and subtract and move numbers around. You can move things around if you want. And I really like that. And I like that we both, my, like both my husband and I have instant access to our budget. With the written budget, we had our budget at home. So we just, I don't know, it just made it more difficult. I liked being able to like pull in it up when I was looking at the bank and like you know, texting him and being like, what, where did this amount come from? Where is this for? And stuff like that. And it just helped us stay on the same page on everything. Kind of see where both of us were at on 
spending and what bills have come out, what bills have not come out and stuff like that. So we really enjoyed every dollar. Um, I don't see us changing anytime soon. A lot of people have recommended you need a budget for us to try out, um, which I'm not opposed to trying out. I don't know much about it, but I'm probably not going to change over until I have a reason to and I don't have a reason yet. I still love every dollar. I like, I don't know, I'm not very good with change and so I feel like it's working for us. I mean it helps, it has helped us get out of debt and so we're going to stick around to it. I highly recommend it for everybody, especially if you're new to all of this. I definitely recommend it for people who are just getting started with Dave Ramsey's program. So since this is an app based on his program, it kind of has the baby steps in there. It tells you what baby steps you've completed, how far you have until you are completed with the baby step. Um, it's just geared towards people who are trying to get out of debt and go through Dave Ramsey's baby stuff. So I think that's really awesome. Um, I like that it calculates for you, like you put in your income and then you have a category for everything. Like you have like your savings and then you have housing and cars and lifestyle and I don't know, you just have all sorts of stuff and you can add different things under each category. and for all your expenses and then it calculates for you what percentage of your income is going towards everything. So like we have really tried to make our giving at least 10% if not more and so I like that it shows us whether we are at 10% or not. I think that's awesome. Um, I just like knowing how what percentage of our money is going to what, like how much of our money was going to debt, like what percentage of our income was going to debt, how much of our income is going to gas, how much of our income is going to our house, you know, stuff like that. So I really like that. But mainly my favorite thing is just how accessible it is and how easy it is to use. It's very user friendly. If you can't figure something out, there is a support page on there that is pretty helpful or I found it really helpful other than my weird thing I can't figure out how to do with the debt and the savings parts. But whatever. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me for making me to make me not want to use it anymore. But anyway, so yes, we still love every dollar. We still use it. I get it on it every single day. I highly recommend it, especially for people who are new to this whole thing and are trying to get their budgets figured out, figure out how much money they have, how much debt they have. So if you are new to all this, I d is definitely I mean, since it's free, you might as well just sign up and start on it and see if it helps you or not. And then as you get going and figure out what you want from your app, what you want from a program, then you can try Mint or you can try You Need a Budget or YNAB, um, whatever you want. There's there's so many different options out there, but just try out every dollar first. And no, this is not a sponsored video or anything. If you've been around my channel at all you know that I'm a huge Dave Ramsey fan and that we are out of debt and this is something I truly believe in and I my goal here with this channel is to help you guys get your life back together financially get on your budget and get out of debt and just become more financially stable so I'm not gonna recommend things I don't believe in and I really and truly believe in every dollar it has helped us so so much um, but yeah there is my update for our every dollar. Um, let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought about it. If you still enjoy using it, have you moved somewhere else? Um, if you do like it, tell me why. If you moved, let me know. Um, and also if you know anything about the savings part and the debt part, why when you add to it, it doesn't calculate correctly. Or I think I got the debt figured out, but I didn't get the savings <laughs> part figured out. So if anyone has any idea about that, please let me know because I am so confused. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching as always. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.